Hello Capricorn and welcome to your spirit guide messages. There are some messages that your spirit guides urgently want to give to you at this time. And also happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. The sun moves into your sign in just a couple of days from the time I'm recording this. So I'm wishing each and every one of you a very beautiful and blessed birthday. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. Let's see what your spirit guides have called you to this meeting for. Ooh, you've got a sacred task to fulfill. Capricorn, there is a calling within that you are not answering. You're not responding to. And you know what, Capricorn? Oh my gosh, I cannot remember exactly which reading it was. If it was your December messages or the 1212 portal, but one of them was about answering a call. And this card right here is specifically about that. Answering a call from within, a sacred task to fulfill. Some of you, this is a call for, you know, just something in your physical life. And some of you, this is more of a spiritual calling. Apply it to how it truly fits for you. And, you know, if this is for the physical, this is an idea you have. This is a change you want to make. This is a dream you want to pursue, a goal you want to pursue. But you have hesitated. You've procrastinated. You've talked yourself out of it. You've said... You know, um, if this happens, then I will. Or in this time, I will. And your spirit guides are saying, Capricorn, you need to answer that call now. You feel it for a reason. It's to lead you to success or to some really positive change in your life that creates a lot of future prosperity. And now if this is spiritual, this spiritual calling what are your spiritual gifts, talents, and abilities, Capricorn? Is it time to grow them? Is it time to explore them for the first time? What's been pulling you? What's been calling you when it comes to spiritual matters? Are you psychic? Are you medium? Are you a healer? Are you an empath? Are you a starseed? Are you a light worker? There's a spiritual calling for some Capricorns. Answer the call, Capricorn. Answer the call. It is leading to some really good stuff. Stuff that you will be happy about. And your spirit guides are saying, yes. Is this my path? Yes. Do I feel this for a reason? Yes. Has this been on and off my mind for the past five years for great purpose? Yes. Open your heart to the call to answer that call. It's your destiny with Tree of Life. It is your destiny, Capricorn. Whether this is something in the physical or a spiritual calling. And see, on the bottom, we have Epiphany and Bag of Marbles. Okay. You've got to bring yourself together. Oh, I love this. 13. That would be a 4. 4. So 4s are all about stability. It's time to answer the call. It's time to bring all pieces of yourself together. Get in alignment and just move forward. Take the plunge. Believe in yourself. This is destiny with the tree of life. But I get you've got to open your heart. You've got to believe. You've got to believe in you. And as you just start that process, it all lights up for you. Everything you need to know, everything you need to understand, ding, ding, ding. Certain things are just going to fall in place in your path for you. But if you're a bit all over the place, well... Um, should I do this? Should I do that? Well, what about this instead? Um, Overanalyzing all these different options and paths 
It doesn't allow you to be in alignment to answer the call. And you feel it, Capricorn, you feel it. And if you're like, D, no, no, I don't. It's time to do a little bit of meditation. Because I hear the phone ringing inside your soul, Capricorn. It is time to answer and say, yes, I accept. Because what you're really saying is I accept this prosperity. I accept this abundance. I accept this happiness. I accept this joy. Ten of Swords, don't be afraid of failure and don't be afraid of setbacks, disappointments, and failures of the past going to be your same outcome this time around. You need to let it go. You've been learning. Every setback, every challenge, every disappointment has taught you something, has made you stronger, has made you wiser. Yes, and this is where you're headed to stability, independence, feeling very secure within yourself. Some of you, this is all about that security within yourself, believing in yourself. And some of you, this is more about finally having stability and comfort in the physical realm. Oh, see, you've got so much fear though. Don't let the past dictate what could be, what your potential is. Because look, new beginning. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. Here's the past. Okay, yeah. Oh, you are just, oh, Capricorn. I understand. I understand. You know, there's somebody I know that has a lot of Capricorn in their chart, and they were really trying to go down a certain path, and despite their best efforts, it's like just nothing, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden, they had this epiphany. And now they're headed down a new path. And on this new path, they're filling in the Nine of Pentacles. Okay? And even though the path they were on didn't play out as they had hoped, they realize how much they have grown and how much they've learned from that journey and how they're going to do things differently on this new path and spirit just wanted me to share that story with you guys okay because you can't let past disappointments and past failures and past setbacks deter you now if you're trying to go about something in the same exact way where you failed before that's where you need to rethink things Okay, just because you've had failures doesn't mean that you don't have just as many successes up ahead. You've been learning. You've gone through a lot. You're stronger. You're wiser now. You're more seasoned. Your skin is thicker. Your mind is more long-term. And see, your epiphany, Ace of Swords, you're going to have a big breakthrough in thought and consciousness. Because you need to answer the call. And that story I shared, that person said, I feel like I'm actually answering my call. And I'm like, there you go. That's all the confirmation you need. All right? And inside of you, that phone's ringing too. And I feel this is strong for all Capricorn placements. Sun, moon, rising, north node, south node, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Even if you feel kind of lost and I don't know, you just acknowledging that you feel something within, you'll have that epiphany. You'll have that breakthrough. And for all you know, this exact path you've been on that was going in a different direction has taught you every single thing you need to know to be 
incredibly successful on this new path. This new path is your destiny. And that's where you're headed. Ten of Pentacles. Which, whether physical or spiritual, this is the ultimate right there. And you got the Empress right next to that. Yes. Knight of Swords, you taking action, you deciding, you know which way you want to go. And look at you. Look at you. Yes, see, you're like, you know what? I get it. I have learned. I have grown. I'm leaving this behind and I'm ready to ascend. I'm ready to evolve. I'm ready to go to the next level. And so what's been holding you back, holding you down, no more. And right now, Saturn is in Pisces. Okay. And so that Saturn being in Pisces, Saturn is your ruling planet. Capricorn Saturn in Pisces has brought up your biggest fears, but also is bringing up your biggest aspirations of what could be and you're following that you're answering the call and you know what uh, Saturn entered Pisces in 2023 and I feel that's when inside something started stirring look at that king of cups being a hundred percent in tune with yourself accepting every aspect of self but also a lot of happiness Capricorn, a lot of happiness and satisfaction. Answer this call, whether it's something in the physical or something spiritual. Even if you can't see the long term, it's leading to really good stuff. This is where you're headed. You look at you walking away from the pa past into creativity fertility, new ways of doing things, new path that leads to crazy abundance and allows you to have a shift in perception and deep healing in your heart. Answer the call. It's your destiny. It's in your soul contract. It's in your soul blueprint. Look at there's that heart energy. Heal your heart. Fourth chakra, heart chakra. Call in Archangel Raphael to help you with that. And the storm is over. Capricorn 10. The storm is over. You know what that storm card Is this ten of swords you're at the end it's over it's done the hardest part is now behind you and that's why there's so much encouragement from your spirit guides to heal your heart space you got it twice here and also this contract with the storm warning there are some things that you've gone through some challenges that have truly shaped you and preparing you for this sacred task that you are meant to fulfill this life journey that's your destiny leader taking action king of spring innovated innovative inspiring wise theatrical a financial windfall your leadership skills are now needed an unexpected supporter of your cause a windfall of money for some Capricorns by answering this call okay and you are a leader if you want to own your own business Yes, if you want to 
do something spiritual, spiritually based business, or just connect uh, with like-minded people, create a spiritual community. Yes. You've got this. And this King of Spring wanted to flip. This is the King of Wands, which means taking action. Three of Spring, plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Yeah, see, it's going to get good. And, you know, here in the Northern Hemisphere, in about three months, we will be moving into the spring. Okay, and so Northern Hemisphere, there's a lot that's going to be changing in the spring for you guys. Okay, um... For Southern Hemisphere, that would be the autumn for you guys. Okay, so over these next three months, expect things to shift. Expect things to change. This Over the next three months is when you're answering the call here of your heart, of your soul. It's your destiny. It's like your north node is lighting up like a beacon right now. Prince of Summer, falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. This is the healing for your heart space, okay? And you need to have a wide open heart for this success, Capricorn. Over here, Two of Autumn, bring fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or job, an excellent talent for multitasking. So where you've been feeling pulled in multiple directions, Things have been feeling challenging, complicated. All of that's finally coming into a bit of balance, which allows you to focus on this healing, letting go, and really looking forward to the future and answering that call within. All right, Capricorn. So your spirit guides urgently want to tell you this right now because we all have free will. We all have free will, and you can change your mind about your spiritual blueprint at any time. But your spirit guides are saying, Capricorn, you don't want to miss this for the world. So answer the call. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.